this is far, far from the truth. Just a few years ago in 1978, two American scientists, Smith, Schmidt and Avery, discovered that Africans were smelting steel 1,500 to 2,000 years ago in Tanzania. They were smelting it in a machine that was using a semiconductor technology unknown until the 20th century. They were making steel at 1,850 degrees centigrade. No machine, no iron smelting machine in Europe or anywhere else had achieved those temperatures. The highest recorded in Europe was about 1,620 degrees centigrade in a second century furnace, Roman draft furnace. And not only that, not only they found Africans were producing a fine bloom of carbon steel, they were doing it in a single stage so that even in the middle of the 19th century, when George Wilhelm Siemens, the German, found a method for mass producing steel, the European process in the mid 19th century involved two stages, whereas the African process involved just one. They were do using iron crystallization process in order to produce that steel. And they were doing it not only more efficiently, not only were they producing a finer bloom of steel, but they were doing it using less fuel. The Africans were forced very early into fuel-saving technology.